As everybody knows, today is November 3rd, Election Day, 2020, the year of our Lord. Yes, it is indeed the year of our Lord. The scriptures today have two quotes in them, two lines in them, that I'm particularly drawn to, and maybe you will be too. In the antiphon before the gospel, it says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavenly burden, and I will give you rest. Oh yes, we would like to have that rest. And while we are resting in the Lord, think about this first line of the gospel where it says, Let yourself have the attitude of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have the attitude of our Lord Jesus Christ. Election Day 2020. Yes, we are called to have the attitude of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have just been through and celebrated All Saints on Sunday and All Souls yesterday. And many of us have dear relatives that we treasure, that we mourn, and we celebrate it. Somehow we feel them close to us this time of the year with the darkening of the, of the sun and the change of light. It is a different time of year. How did they put on the attitude of Christ. They have went through many difficulties. You say, well, it's not like this. Well, they probably thought it was like this. They went through the Great Depression, World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam, racial unrest, prejudice, strife, all kinds of things. And those are big things upon the scene, but also big things within families drug addiction, and things of that nature, separation, problems. Put on the attitude of Christ. How are we called to do that? How are we called to live the attitude of Christ? Read your scriptures. Read the new encyclical, Fratelli Tutti of the Pope. That might give you inspiration, might give you courage. Can you be the one who always acts with respect toward others, no matter what. That's the mind of Jesus Christ. That's the attitude. Can you be the one who reaches out to restore relationships with others who differ with you politically, socially, in every kind of way? Can you be the one who looks past the arguments or diversions or differences that you've had with one another that's not easy, but it calls on us to have the attitude of Christ. Another place in the gospel says, on all these things, put on love. And we are called to put on love, to have the attitude of Christ. May God bless each one of you. And as we go forward into the rest of this year of our Lord, may you be filled with restfulness peacefulness, and knowing that God is taking care of things and handling things, and God is with you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.